Hi, I'm Jenna. I'm a student physical therapist, and today I'm going to be um, demonstrating how to do passive range of motion on Don here, our patient. Um, we're going to be doing the lower extremity in this video. So the main points on this is to make sure we have nice soft hands so we don't dig into Don's skin and make him uncomfortable, and we want to make sure that we're also having good body mechanics while we're lifting because the legs are usually heavier than what you would expect. Okay, so that's keeping a nice straight back and bending at the hips and knees. So first I'll start with hip flexion, hip and knee flexion. So I'll come on over here, above and below the knee, and I'm gonna be moving nice and slow and stopping when I feel a slight resistance. And moving at the hip and the knee joint. And then back down. Nice and slow. And I should be doing all of the work here. Um, so Don isn't doing anything. It's just passive range of motion. We can do each one uh, about five to ten times. And if you can see, I'm shifting my weight onto my right leg as I'm pulling him up and then back onto my left as I'm pulling him down so I don't twist my back. Okay, so that was hip flexion and extension. And the next one I'll do is I'll bring him up to 90 degrees right here. I'll hold him here and we'll do some internal and external rotation. So just bringing the lower part of his leg out and in while keeping the knee straight. And then back down. And since we already did knee flexion and extension with the hip, we can come down to the ankle, which is very important, especially with patients with ALS, to give them a nice stretch here. So using my forearm, I'm cupping the bottom of his heel, and I'm just leaning into to bring his toes up to, towards his nose. I'm going until I feel a slight resistance, and then I'm backing down. Okay. All right, and that's how you do passive range of motion on the lower extremity. And now Jen's going to try to do the passive range of motion on the lower extremity. So we can start with the hip flexion and knee flexion. So we'll support under here and above the knee. Good? Yeah. And then we'll bring his knee and bending his knee and his hip at the same time, slowly moving up into the position until you feel slight resistance, and then slowly coming back down. And making sure to bend at, the, at your knees as well to keep good body mechanics. Good. Alright. And we can bring him up one more time. And we'll keep him at 90 here, and we'll do hip internal and external rotation, so keeping the knee straight up and down. Good. Bringing the bottom, of, bottom part of the leg in and out. Good. Now we can bring the leg back down. We've already done the knee flexion and extension with the first one, so we just have the ankle. And you can Cup the bottom of the heel with your arm and with your forearm at the bottom of his... Like that? No, the forearm this way. So you want it like this. Yeah, cupping. That there you go. Oh, that like that. Okay. And then break, using your forearm to kind of press his toes up towards his nose and back down. This is a really important motion to try to maintain as much movement as possible especially with uh, standing and transfers. Good. And that's how you do uh, passive range of motion for the lower extremity. These videos are for uh, demonstration purposes. If you need more instructions, please contact your health care provider. Hi, I'm Susan Walsh from the ALS Association. To learn more and to get involved, visit alsphiladelphia.org.